Welcome to a new session on the course School Organization, Administration and Management. In this present session, we will discuss on topics like meaning and definitions of physical fitness, importance of physical fitness, elements of physical fitness, factors of physical fitness, types and components of physical fitness, brief session on wellness, different areas on wellness, difference between fitness and wellness. First let us discuss the meaning of physical fitness. Physical fitness is a relative term. Different people attach different meanings to physical fitness. For a doctor, physical fitness implies the proper functioning of the physiological systems. For the common man, it implies having a good physic. Physical fitness is the basic requirement for most of the tasks to be undertaken by an individual in his or her daily life. Physical fitness is the capacity to carry out reasonably well various forms of physical activities without being unduly tired. A physically fit individual is capable of withstanding fatigue for longer periods better equipped to tolerate physical stress, more efficient circulatory and respiratory systems, more efficient and stronger heart and exhibits a good mental alertness and absence of nervous tension. Thus, physical fitness varies according to the nature of the task. Physical fitness in general terms means the capacity to do routine work without any exertion or fatigue. So, physical fitness implies the position of strength and endurance, the capacity to do every day's work effectively and three, the capacity to engage in recreational pursuits. Definitions of physical fitness. In the words of Charles A. Butcher, if you are physically fit, your body systems functions efficiently. You have sufficient strength to engage in vigorous physical activity. You recover quickly from fatigue. You have reserves of strength, energy and stamina for emergencies. According to Dr. K. L. Anderson, physical fitness is the ability for respiration and circulation to recover from a standard workload. In the words of Edward Boats, Physical fitness implies that the body systems are capable of carrying on their activities satisfactorily. Bruno Ballet states, physical fitness depends on the biodynamic potential of an individual which is composed of his or her functional and metabolic potential. According to Clark, physical fitness is the ability to carry out daily tasks with vigor and alertness without undue fatigue and ample energy to enjoy leisure time pursuits and to meet unforeseen emergencies. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention has defined physical fitness as the ability to carry out tasks with vigor and alertness without undue fatigue and with ample energy to enjoy leisure time pursuits and respond to emergencies. Physical fitness is one's richest position. To be a totally fit person, one must also possess emotional maturity, high ethical standards and ability to get along with others. Physical fitness and wellness. Fitness refers to the physical part. A fit person is supposed to have good stamina, strength and flexibility. He or she maintains the fitness by doing various kinds of exercises, indoor and outdoor, freehand or with weights, aerobic or anaerobic etc. Wellness is a more general term encompassing the whole being which is the mind and soul in addition to the body. Wellness in essence covers all areas of health, mental health, emotional health, physical health, spiritual health, social health, relationship health and so on. Now let us see the importance of physical fitness. 
Physical fitness is a very important from various angles and some of the major points are enjoyment of a better life. With physical fitness, one can enjoy a better life, better social status, more happiness and more satisfaction in life. Efficiency for facing emergencies. It imparts endurance and efficiency for facing emergencies and stress situations in life. Prevention of premature aging. Physical fitness prolongs life by preventing premature aging. Development of personality. Physical fitness program leads to proper development of all the physiological systems and the body posture. This develops one's personality by providing grace, smartness and agility in different walks of life. Prevention of minor ailments and diseases. The pressures and tensions of modern rapid life generally cause depression, high blood pressure and even heart attack. But physically fit persons can avoid such ailments with their stamina and endurance power. Better performance in games and sports. Physically fit persons can withstand the stress and strain of competitive activity with their strength and energy. So they can give better performance in games and sports. Mentioning the importance of physical fitness, Sri A.K. Pandya, former Director General of Sports Authority in India, has mentioned the importance of physical fitness as People the world over have realized the importance of physically fit body for a vigorous and purposeful life. Unless we have the sustaining physical fitness, the joy of living and the satisfaction of a complete life is lost. Thus, physical fitness is very important for all persons, whether in service or in business or athletes or players. Elements of Physical Fitness there are three important elements of physical fitness and they are 1. Anatomical fitness, physiological fitness and psychological fitness. Let us first discuss anatomical fitness. It refers to a person's body parts and structure. It includes the size and shape of the body and its suitability for performing a particular physical activity. For instance, a short statured person may not be a good smasher in volleyball or become a good high jumper as an athlete and a lean and thin person a good weightlifter. Genetic imperfections in organs and tissues are responsible for weaknesses in a person's structure and function. These limit their capacity for strength, endurance and skill. Physiological fitness means that all physiological systems of the body like nervous, circulatory, respiratory and digestive etc. function effectively and efficiently. It would lead to proper growth and development of various organs of the body. It would also build stamina, strength and capacity of different body parts for particular physical activities. The Greek philosopher Aristotle also described the importance of physiological fitness by saying, the body is the temple of the soul and to reach harmony of body, mind and spirit, the body must be physically fit. The next, psychological fitness also plays an important role in the performance of an individual. Psychological factors like perception, emotional st stability, motivation and intelligence are of great importance in determining one's fitness level. Lack of motivation and any kind of tension will not let an individual to give their best performance. Thus, all efforts should be made to keep intact the psychological fitness of the performers. Here we shall have a discussion on the factors of physical fitness. Physical fitness of a person depends on several factors 
All these factors play an important role in influencing the maintenance and development of physical fitness of an individual. And some of the main factors are, the first is environment. Environment is the surroundings in which a living thing grows and develops. Environment includes the earth, the air, the water and all factors will help, which help or hurt a living being to grow. Here we are concerned with school children and their environment in school, home and neighborhood etc. Students spend most of their time in school. So, the school environment must be favorable for their physical growth and fitness. The school should process adequate building, proper lighting, ventilation, safe drinking water, proper toilet and hand washing facilities, besides a spacious, smooth and level ground for drill and physical exercise. A healthy environment at home and in the neighborhood where the students spend time after the school hours greatly helps their physical fitness and development. The second is nutritive diet. Nutritive diet provides energy to the body for the movements of the muscles and all its organs. It helps in an individual's growth and development and protects them from diseases. It is also very helpful in repairing the body's worn out tissues. Skin, since school children keep themselves busy in various types of physical activities, they must get nutritive balanced diet. Such a diet should contain carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, salts and vitamins in proper ratio. It means that for physical growth and fitness, school children should be given milk, milk products, fruits and sufficient quantity of vegetables along with eggs, bread, rice and pulses. The third is good hygiene and health habits. Another important factor of physical fitness is good hygiene and health habits of an individual. Its foundation is to be laid early in life. Therefore, awareness of the importance of good health habits must be developed among children from their very childhood. Children should develop the habit of washing their hands clean, especially before and after their meals and after the use of lavatory. It is because the hands come in contact with disease germs more than any part of the body. The children should also learn to keep their body clean, otherwise it becomes susceptible to infection. Health habits and hygiene cover the total lifestyle of an individual. The fourth is avoidance of drugs and alcohol. For physical fitness, avoidance of harmful substances like alcohol, tobacco, drugs etc. is a must. Their intake adversely affects both the body and the mind. Even small consumption of alcohol affects the neuromuscular system of the body and its excessive use is most harmful to the person concerned. Similar is the case with smoking. Tobacco smoke contains certain very harmful chemicals which have a bad effect on the person's health. Regular smoking may cause lung cancer and cancer of mouth tongue and throat. Drug addiction is far more harmful than drinking or smoking. It has a devastating effect on both the health and personality of drug addicts. So, the intake of all these harmful substances must be avoided for maintaining physical fitness. The fifth is the proper rest and sleep. Rest is very helpful in removing fatigue. Rest gives some time for relaxation to the part or system of the body that has been doing strenuous work. Rest may be brought about by lying down or sitting comfortably. Due to rest, the body organs get an opportunity to work properly at a normal speed. So rest is an important factor for physical fitness. Sleep may be called rest for a longer time. During sleep, 
the body rests and a good deal of blood goes to the blood vessels this makes the body fresh again for further physical exercises and activities thus both rest and sleep are of great importance in maintaining physical fitness the next one is freedom from tension <coughs> tension is anxiety or worry of any type it may be due to home conditions social situations or occasional causes pressure of desire achievement in competitions may also be a cause of worry tension of any kind does not let an individual give his or her best performance if tension is allowed to persist it may have an adverse effect on the physical fitness of the person so tension or stresses should be eliminated for maintaining physical fitness the next is a regular exercise Regular exercise keeps muscles, heart and lungs in good working order. There are a big number of exercises, but just three basic kinds of them are necessary for physical fitness. And these are aerobic exercises, stretches and strengtheners. Aerobic exercises are those which strengthen the heart and lungs. muscles need oxygen and feed it into the blood heart pumps the blood through the arteries and veins of the circulatory system delivering oxygen to every muscle in the body blood also carries food to the muscles in this way every organ and tissue of the body receives a healthy supply of food and oxygen for strengthening heart and lungs running jogging rope skipping swimming bicycling football basketball and hockey are all aerobic activities dancing and walking long distances are also aerobic exercises an hour of brisk walking is as good to most persons as 15 minutes of jogging so in physical fitness program aerobic exercises should occupy a proper place it will keep the heart and lungs in good condition exercises combined with dieting help a person get rid of excess fat the next is stretches sitting for a long time at a desk or bench stiffens the neck and shoulder muscles similarly long muscles in legs back and both sides of the body between the hips and armpits tend to tighten up when idle stretching exercises are very useful for removing stiffness and these exercises done regularly improve posture muscle tone and overall fitness besides reducing muscle tension yogic exercises are best examples of good stretches some other prop popular stretching exercises are bend and sway with feet apart and hands on hips bend the body to the left then bend the body back as far as possible after that bend it to the right and then forward bend it to the left again and repeat with these exercises muscles will stretch on both sides of the body from the stra- same stretching position as discussed sway from one side to the other extending the arms high above the head is also beneficial in addition to this raising or lowering of arms benefits the shoulders the third one is strengtheners there are many good exercises that build muscles but strengtheners put a different demand on muscles from stretches Another important principle is the more slowly one moves the greater the benefit. A few examples of strengthening exercises are sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, etc. Sit-up is an exercise in which there is an act of rising from lying or back position to a sitting position. It strengthens the back muscles. Push-up is an exercise on parallel bars 
in which the body is supported by the bent arms and raised for strengthening them. In pull up, the body is pulled up by means of an overhead bar held by the hands till the chin touches the bar. Pull up strengthens the arms, shoulders, hands and wrists. All these exercises may be repeated till one is able to do them without pain. We shall now see the different types and components of physical fitness. Physical fitness can be classified into three. They are health related physical fitness, skill related physical fitness and cosmetic fitness. Health related physical fitness. It is a power or capacity to live a full and efficient life that one is capable of being. It includes cardiovascular fitness, strength, endurance and flexibility. Skill related physical fitness. It consists of those components of physical fitness that have a relationship with enhanced performance in sports and motor skills and the components are commonly defined as speed, agility and coordination. The third one cosmetic fitness, it deals with prevention and remediation of disease and illness leading to a better quality of life. It is simply working out for the purpose of looking fit. Physical fitness comprises the three S that is stamina, strength and suppleness. One exercise can benefit more than one area. For instance, jogging can improve your stamina and suppleness at the same time. Most forms of sports, work and recreational activities include elements of aerobic fitness. A range of physical activities that ensures total fitness. First we shall see stamina. Stamina or endurance involves the ability to sustain physical activity for prolonged periods. Generally speaking any activity which lasts for more than one minute is considered aerobic. The term aerobic implies that the oxygen utilization by the body was the principal factor in accomplishing the task. The next one is strength. Stronger muscles can mean either more powerful muscles that can do better jobs or muscles that will work longer before being exhausted. The third one is suppleness. Our muscles are repeatedly shortened when they are used especially when exercising. They need to be slowly and regularly stretched to counteract the repeated shortening and this stretching results in suppleness or flexibility ability to move joints and muscles through their full range of motion components of physical fitness some of the major components of physical fitness are muscular strength muscular strength is a power that help us to lift and carry heavy objects Without muscular strength, your body would be weak and unable to keep up with the demands placed upon it. Muscular endurance. Endurance is the ability of your muscles to perform contractions for extended periods of time. Rather than just lifting or carrying something for a few seconds, the muscles are used for minutes. The next one is cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance is our body's ability to keep up with exercise like running, jogging, swimming, cycling and anything that forces our cardiovascular system like lungs, heart and blood vessels to work for extended periods of time. The Cooper run that is running as far as possible in 12 minutes is a test commonly used to assess cardiovascular endurance but many trainers use the step test stepping onto a platform for five minutes both are accurate measures for a subject's cardiovascular endurance the next is flexibility 
Flexibility is one of the most important components of physical fitness. Without flexibility, the muscles and joints would grow stiff and movement would be limited. Flexibility training ensures that your body can move through its entire range of motion without pain or stiffness. The sit and reach test, sitting on the floor and reaching towards your toes is another good way to assess your flexibility. The more flexible you are, the closer you will come to touching your toes and beyond. The next is speed. A skill related components of physical fitness that relate to the ability to perform a movement within a short period of time. The next comes coordination. It is a skill related component of physical fitness that relate to the ability to use the senses such as sight and hearing together with body parts in performing motor tasks smoothly and accurately. The next is body fat composition. Body fat composition refers to the amount of fat on your body. For example, a 100 pound person with a 25 percent body fat composition will have a lean body mass of 75 pounds. To qualify as fit, men must have a body fat composition lower than 17 percent and women must have body fat composition lower than 24 percent. The average man tends to have about 18 to 24 percent body fat while the average woman has 25 to 31 percent body fat. And the last component is agility. Agility means the ability of an individual to change position in speed. We shall now see some of the factors affecting physical fitness. Certain factors play a very important role in physical fitness of an individual. They are heredity, proper diet, regular exercise, observance of natural laws, standard of living, nature of work, scientific way of training, good postures, proper rest and sleep, freedom from stress, humorous nature and environment. Principles of physical fitness development. The first one is the principle of warming up before undertaking exercises. Second, the principle of selection of right exercises. Third, principle of regularity in exercises. Next, principle of variety. Fifth one, principle of progression that is exercises of low intensity to high intensity. Next is the principle of rest. Seven, principle of specificity of exercise. Eighth, principle of selection of exercise on the basis of age and sex. 9. Principle of medical checkup. 10th is a principle of overloading. Overloading is achieved through increase in intensity, frequency and duration. For instance, to achieve overload principle, distance runners gradually increase the time of exercise. As the load increases, the body acquires the capacity to bear that load and prepares for higher adaptation. Now let us discuss the concept of wellness. The term wellness was first used by Halbert L. Dunn, who published a small booklet entitled High Level Wellness in 1965. According to McKinley Health Center, University of Illinois, wellness is a state of optimal well-being that is oriented toward maximizing an individual's potential. This is a lifelong process of moving towards enhancing your physical, intellectual, emotional, social, spiritual and environmental well-being. The University of East Carolina defines wellness as the integration of body, mind and spirit. Optimal wellness allows us to achieve our goals and find meaning and purpose in our lives. Wellness combines seven dimensions of well-being into a quality way of living. 
wellness combines seven dimensions of well-being into a quality way of living overall wellness is the ability to live life to the fullest and to maximize personal potential in a variety of ways wellness involves continually learning and making changes to enhance your state of wellness when we balance physical intellectual emotional social occupational spiritual and environmental aspects of life we achieve true wellness according to medilexicon's medical dictionary wellness is a philosophy of life and personal hygiene that views health as not merely the absence of illness but the full realization of one's physical and mental potential as achieved through positive attitude fitness training a diet low in fat and high in fiber and the avoidance of unhealthful practices like smoking drug and alcohol abuse overeating etc wellness is a term that has been extremely popular in recent years some say it is a state of mind that is experienced as tranquility others define wellness as a luxury lifestyle concept associated with fitness most people define wellness as simply being physically well most of the time all inclusive the generally accepted definition of wellness is to stay in a good condition physically mentally and spiritually especially through the healthy choices in those areas it is having a balanced state of these parts of the psyche this definition of wellness implies that wellness is a lifestyle choice it defines wellness to include not just being healthy healthy physically but embraces a holistic concept of health that encompasses our whole being whole being body mind and spirit we shall now see the different areas of wellness there are several areas that individuals need to focus on to take responsibilities in creating a life of wellness and the most common areas are spiritual mental emotional physical interpersonal and environmental some additional areas that are not as popular as these are financial wellness and occupational wellness all these areas are contributing factors in our health care first let us see spiritual wellness it gives you principles to govern yourself giving joy and purpose in life this leads to the ability to love and forgive which is very healing the second is mental wellness it gives you opportunity to challenge your mind through continuing education through life seeking new experiences and mastering new skills and the third is emotional wellness it is being able to identify your thoughts and feelings and make conscious choices towards a positive emotional outlook very important to emotional wellness is the releasing of negative emotions negative emotions left unchecked cause physical imbalance leading to diseases and the fourth one is physical wellness it includes good nutritional practices exercise and using natural means to heal the body the fifth is interpersonal wellness it is acquiring and upholding relationships this adds to a happy home and community interpersonal wellness is a big factor in your physical and emotional health and the sixth one is environmental wellness it allow, allows one to have a healthy environment free of toxins with clean natural resources available such as water and the seventh is financial wellness it exercises self discipline in managing your money wisely meeting financial obligations budgeting setting goals and staying debt free this eliminates your life of much stress 
the eighth one is occupational wellness it looks at your level of happiness and fulfillment in the work you do for a living planning and moving towards goals to bring enjoyment in this area is very important we shall discuss now the difference between fitness and wellness fitness speaks about the cardiovascular capacity strength and shape of a person's body the word fitness means the ability to perform physical activities and this includes discussions on the strength of your muscles joints and ligaments the state of your endurance and the power in which your body is capable of moving this does not mean health a person who is fit may not necessarily be fit health covers a wide array of components which are usually under the umbrella word wellness wellness in essence covers all areas of health spiritual health mental health emotional health physical health spiritual health social health relationship health and so on basically these are all the different components which aim a person's life that can affect their overall well-being when it comes to fitness a person may be fit be active participate in sports be able to lift weights change the shape of their body run jump and increase their cardiovascular capacity but this does not mean that the state of their body or the overall well-being is in good health fitness type of activities can hugely benefit the well-being of the body but this is not the only factor that determines the overall health the wellness of the person wellness speaks about the overall well-being of a person from body mind and spirit now let us summarize what we have just discussed it is a responsibility of all individuals to protect and maintain a happy and worthy human life and this can be made possible only by paying attention to physical fitness and wellness thus physical fitness is a capacity of an individual to do, do daily routine work without fatigue to participate in physical activities and still reserve enough energy to meet any emergency it is the ability of an individual to live a full and balanced life it involves physical mental emotional social and spiritual factors and the capacity for their wholesome expression physical fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition moderate vigorous physical exercises and sufficient rest wellness is not just fitness wellness is a state of health and state of balance wellness covers the overall well-being or health of a per being from mind body and spirit and this makes fitness only a component of wellness it is only a part of the whole so we should not be only concerned with fitness if you want an overall healthy happy and balanced life you have to put your attention and appreciation towards all the other components of health in your life thank you for watching the session on physical fitness and wellness see you again with a new topic till then goodbye